Hey everybody, the buying is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Donald Duck going quackers for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. I'm sure a few of you are wondering, Bonga, why is this not a replay? You played going quackers last year. Which is true, but... Usually when it comes to like a handheld port of a 2D slash 3D game, it feels like its own game, even though it has the same name as a game I already played. It just feels very different, so that's why it's just its own Let's Play. Options are very bare bones. Alright, go to new game. Okay, you just see a bunch of stills. Breaking news! Murloc kidnaps a reporter Daisy! She'll write how I conquered the world! Huh? I don't want to insert another 25 cents on this pay phone. I'm broke. I don't even have pants. God, Gyro! Have you seen the headlines? I, I mean, we, we, we need to do something to save Daisy. I have blonde hair for some reason. I have an idea. Why well, use my new invention? The Gyro Gamma Tubal Teleport. Just a few finishing touches and I'll send you to the rescue. But someone is not keen on Gyro's new invention. Oh, Murloc. He just shows us on and I don't want them to come to me. How dare you defy me, inventor? Let's see how you get on without your precious blueprints. Ha 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 ha. Hang up a phone. Why would I do that? Donald, determined as ever to rescue his beloved Daisy, has no intention of giving up. Oh, you, you'll just wing it, right? I'm Gyro! Are you sure there's no other way? You see, I... I... Trust me! Even if it's not finished, it will still work. So it kind of follows the same story. <laughs> I should have warned him that I have no idea where I'm sending him. Yeah, so as you can see, oh, it feels like a very different game. Like, you jump with A, you can actually double jump. Oh, it seems you can, like... Can you slow your descent? No, you can't slow your descent by holding A. Go down here. There, I found the blueprint for that level. I don't know if I'm gonna find them all. I don't know what will happen if you miss any. Because when I practice this, I don't think there's a level select. So if you miss a blueprint, you're just done. You can't go back. Level design seems pretty basic. the end of the stage. Here's your password. Level 2. Yeah, it, it just happens. I personally don't even bother to try to attack the enemies unless I have to. Bouncing orbs, I wonder what they do. They seem to move around. I don't know if there's any bottomless pits in this level. So far I don't see any. Gamma really loves to jerk around as soon as you turn. Okay, you can pan the camera down a little bit. Go down there? I guess I will go down there. Oh, another path. Makes you invincible for a little while. I think if you grab all, all the bouncing orbs, it moves that one over. 
you can actually use the invincibility. All that got me was an extra life. I, mean, I can't complain that much. Later stages might be absolutely dreadful. Oh, you only need to get 20 of these for an extra life. That's very generous. Oh, I guess there's another part to the level. Oh, I took some damage, so spikes are not instant death. How's that going for me? Oh, maybe those bouncing orbs are just health. So it seems I'm, uh, back to normal now. I'm not as angry. I'm not as quackers as I once was. I'm just very plain Jane. Oh, come on. Is that another extra life I picked up? I don't know. How the hell did I get up there? I see the other blueprint. I'm bounce off of this. There we go. I'll just grab whatever ones I can see. Possible, and so far it is. Oh, I'm invincible. Why does it only last like a couple seconds? Well, that one doesn't come back. Usually the blue ones that do that do come back. What in the hell? How do I get back up? I don't see a way to get back up here. I can only double jump and that's it. Um... Was there supposed to be another platform to... Oh. You have to be walking right up to the edge of the wall. And then you'll be able to get enough height. Level design! You gotta love it. Again, jump on the tornadoes. It wouldn't surprise me. There we go. Okay, so they're different colors based on whether they're letters or numbers. I guess that's one way to tell them apart. Oh wow, you can even pause this screen? What happens if I miss one? Like, if I can't go back to previous levels, what happens then? I mean, it's kind of hard to know because there's hardly any, uh, playthroughs of, uh, this particular version of the game. Oh, you could ground pound in this, but you have to be invincible. And then you press B in midair. And fun fact... That's the only time you can do that. Why? Don't know. You'd have to take it up with Ubisoft. That was a choice that was made. Stick to the high ground. But there's good stuff up there. I must I fall down. Oh, there's another way to get through here. What difference do it make? Good one. That was a good bounce. Wait, do those birds come back? 
Oh my god, they only give you one shot to make that jump, and if you don't make it, you don't get the blueprint. I see they try to make this level as frustrating as possible. No wonder there's hardly any playthroughs of this port. It's starting to make sense now. Oh god, the log was still there. Getting that one up was a dangerous game. It's awful a lot of verticality in these levels, too. Like, the original version of Going Quackers is nothing like this. Like, this just feels like its own thing. Oh, this level is actually a chase. And it's an auto-scroller, too. You don't want to be too slow. Or you can have a crushing death on your hands. So just mimic the uh, squirrel's movements as much as you can, and you'll be fine. Maybe I'll give you a little space. I'm not getting that. Shit. Ooh, they put the scroll on this level too, huh? And that's the end of the stage already. A bear wants to eat me. Yeah, it's not even the same bosses in uh, original Golden Quackers either. Okay, so you have to attack this bear using honey. Oh my god. I jumped on that bean and hurt me anyway. So every time you jump on a hive, it summons a bee. But you gotta jump on the bee hive to summon the honey that the bear is going to Okay, I jumped on that. The game doesn't give a shit. Good old like shoddy hit detection, am I right? God, Donald is going the way of that kid from my girl. Ah. Is that too early? Oh! Sometimes he just summons the bees anyway. Whether there's honey or not. Oh, come on. I guess you don't want the honey that badly, huh? That missed somehow. Oh my Christ. There, you got it. And then it goes, has a sugar crash. Yeah, I almost died again. Alright, level one, get the blueprint in Duckburg. So it looks like you don't get anything special for getting all the blueprints in the first world. It's just whatever, just par for the course. on the balls. How much do they bounce? Not the same height, okay. I was thinking they would just bounce even higher the more I jumped on them, but no, they, they don't do that. 
the hell? Ah, I can get up there now. Oh, jeez, you can smash through the skylight now. I would almost forget about it because I took out the arrow. And I bet I can go through here, too. No, I can't. Actually, it looks like there's a pit there. Oh, wait a minute, I could have just done this. Jackhammer. Oh god, Oscar the Grouch is mad. What did I do to you? Oof, pretty dangerous over here. I guess the people at Duckburg were not happy that they have a billionaire among them. That's why they make this uh, city so hostile for everyone else. Okay, that's all that was for? angry? No, I'm, I'm fine. So far, the game itself is, uh, like, it's not offensively terrible. It just feels, I don't know, kind of there. It feels like a lot of the levels know, with some changes, feel more or less the same. If you go from uh, left to right, there's gonna be lots of verticality, and you gotta be looking around all over the place to find invincibility that chances are you might need to make progress in the game. Oh, I got 22 lives. I... I think I should be okay, right? And I still don't know what happens if I finish a level without a blueprint and keep going. There we go, that's the end of the stage. Alright, level two. Chain itself does not hurt you, it's only the hook that does. <sighs> that was close. Can I jump on the jackhammer? No, you cannot. Whoa! These things to move forward. Sharp. Hey, Jay. Hi, Jay. Oh. He scouted me. This looks very out of the way. What do I do this for? Oh, that. Yeah, it's really off the beaten path. Like, go all the way back to the beginning of the level, just higher. Well, at least the, the platforming itself is kind of solid. Like, there isn't any... The magnets themselves hurt you, but I'm not made out of metal. What the... What the frick? 
But yeah, jumping feels very responsive, so there's that. I'm gonna need some health. I don't know what happens if you... I just bust through a fence, why not? Aha! What ups are definitely plentiful. Who knows, in later levels there might be a reason for that. There's like, yeah, we got hazards that are gonna kill you every three seconds, so hopefully you've got lots of lives. Could I have gone through there? Maybe not. Oh. oh, I thought that bird left something behind. I thought that was gonna be a pit for some reason. Okay, now what? What did I do that for? Up there? Okay, yeah, that's what you gotta do. Is that even water in that vat? Oh god. That's gonna that's hard to get used to. Why does almost every collectible look exactly the same? Like, that's invincibility, but it's hard to tell what it is. Unless you're looking at it really close. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, do they go to fixed pattern? Okay, I timed it correctly this time. There's actually another, like, uh, 2D Donald Duck game of this vein, uh, Donald Duck Advance. Like, they call it Donald Duck Advance, like, not even with the Going Quackers name to it, for some reason. And that plays kind of different to this. Good one. Okay, level three. I think I believe there's four worlds, same as it was in Golden Quackers on N64, PlayStation, and the Dreamcast. There was also on Windows. I don't remember. City. One's eating the other's ass. Okay, I jump. If I jump on them and one dies, why do I still take damage? How is it that the other one hits me? That's a bit of horse shit, isn't it? And how the hell do you get up there? Maybe you don't. But... How else? Oh, that's how. I don't know you can just jump on that pipe, too. It's good to know. Are there any checkpoints in these levels, even? Alright, how does this work? This... Oh my god, no, they send you right back to the beginning of the level. 
And I don't think the 1-Up comes back, either. Oh, but I bet all the enemies will come back. You just watch. You bet they do! What kind of nonsense is that? Alright, do this again. Just go faster. Oh, if you stand in the middle, you're protected? I thought it would go the whole way. Oh, but I need to... Oh, I can go down. Do I want to? Worth it? Oh no. It isn't. Uh, is it a bad idea to take the bottom path when the top one exists? What if I can't get back up? do something if I grabbed it, but no. Oh! Bring that back. Yeah, yeah! I guess these parts are really the checkpoints. From what I can gather from this. Oh boy, what the hell? What's your problem? Stop it! Stop teleporting! That wasn't my only chance to get up there. How else do you do this shit? They seriously only made it one shot, so you have to jump on the bear and then jump up to get on that dude's head. Unless there's another way to get higher up on the rooftop. Maybe this way? Huh? Nope, not like that. Oh, this might be possible to get all the way up there. I'm not seeing it though. Whoa, whoa! I was not ready for that. One more hit and I'm out. Okay, there's health. That's better. Way to get to the end of the stage. Looks like it. Wait, this might be doable now. No, it isn't. Well, I guess I'm not getting that blueprint. Eh. 
And I hit buttons. Can't go back to stages you did not get them. So if there's a bad ending, I'm probably permanently locked into it now. Doesn't give me signs of a level select just yet. Oh, okay, I couldn't crawl. He was like, no, you don't do it. Yeah, it just chases you. If it comes in contact with you, you're hurt. Yikes. It's like those Cosmic Mario races. You can just bait its movements. It's honestly well ahead of its time. Like, this came well before, uh, Mario Galaxy. And it's virtually the same concept. I'm gonna give kudos to that, to be honest. I never thought I would. Kill me. Go, go. I'm probably gonna miss this blueprint too. Oh no, there's a third part to this. Shit. Shit! Yeah, smoking kills in this game. Oh no. Enemy placement can be a bit annoying when you got a chase sequence like this! I mean, I can't take my time to adjust where I'm going, because I, I take too long, the chopper gets me. Oh my god, they put it bef- They put the health right there, and then the smokestack. So of course it's gonna hit you first. That's where I gotta smash. Go. Oh. There it is. Oh, I can't reach it. Forget it. Yeah, it's the Beagle Boys. Just stealing paintings. What do we gotta do here? Gotta get on those. Okay, I don't know how I was supposed to avoid that. Okay, you just gotta jump on their heads. How many hits? That's it! That went way faster than the bear! Magicka Dispels Manor. Hopefully this one doesn't go horribly. Duckburg did see a slight increase in difficulty. Let's hope this one doesn't go completely worse. They all seem easy to jump on, though, so there's that. I don't know if the candles can hurt you on contact, but, uh, do I look like someone who's willing to find out? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, great, there's 
just ghosts here. Can I smash that with the invincibility? No, you cannot. That would have worked by now, because I made contact. Blocked by a candle for some reason! Oh, oh, oh. It's like a Greek wedding. There it is. I hope I wasn't supposed to use the ghosts as the only means to get up there. Can we even do it this way? Oh my god, the candles do hurt you. I thought I was paranoid. Turns out I was right. Can't even jump on the plates either. Oh, you fucker. I guess I can grab that one. What happens if I die before I reach the checkpoint? Like, do I keep the blueprint? Hey, you. I know you're dead and all, but can you move, please? Okay, I think we're fine now. Oh, you get your health back, too! What the hell? What is this? What? It's like a... Is this a carpet sponge? What could have caused that? things in this game are just not making any sense at this point. Well, I guess I can try to grab all the uh, orbs that I can. It might do something. Oh, maybe it's creating more of these invincibility orbs. I'm getting the very tricky ones. Oh! That was close. I thought that hit me. What's up here? Another one of these. Seems like a very contrived way to run a level. Just collect every collectible you see! Every single one! Cause they might help you beat the level. Something flickered for some reason. Uh, 
Now what? Oh no. I gotta go that way. At least enemies do not respawn if I go too far. Very generous about that. What? Uh, wait. That candle hurt me. Wow, that's really fucked up, game. It really is. Hey, at least invincibility is healing me too. That seems to be what I'm doing. Oh, no. I'm missing at least one. That must be it. Now let's reattempt the climb. There we go. This better not be every level in the manor. Okay. Outlook not so good. You can't attack the portrait. That's lame. That missed somehow. That is horseshit, and the game knows it. The game doesn't care, though. Oh. Look how angry that, uh, Candelabra is. Did that invincibility not hurt the enemy? It didn't hurt it. So safe to say these skulls you cannot jump on. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be the gimmick for the whole world. Launched. Ah, we're 40 lives now. Can I jump on you? You can, but you got a time limit to make it to the other side. Far. Can I make this jump? Sure you can. 
It just makes it look like you can't. Beautiful. I wonder why that little alcove exists. Oh, God, what is this? It's bad enough you can't even kill them. Music gets a little grating, too, sometimes. I get what they were going for, but it doesn't make it any less obnoxious. Don't think I didn't catch on to your tricks, game. I saw the evil eyes. So what did that do for me? That? I don't even move the shelf or the drawer forward. It went back! Okay, I broke two doors. Why was that door even there? It don't... it don't go anywhere. is not terrible, but it doesn't really go out of its way to do great either. It's painfully average. two paths to take, so I'm taking this one. What the hell? What the? What on earth? Not only am I upside down, but there's unexplained ice physics. When was the last time you waxed your ceilings? So apparently Magica Dispel waxes hers. I'm just going to ignore that one up. And now we're right side up again. What the ever-living hell is going on? Oh, they give you more than enough time. Oh! <sighs> Bullshit. I hope I didn't miss the, uh, blueprint. Oh, I don't know this again. 
I was really hoping that would be a one and done kind of hazard. Game says no. Yeah, I'm not going for that one up either. That can eat my ass. Oh, there it is. That's not even hidden. Okay, you keep the blueprint. That's good to know. Wait, what way am I facing? Oh, face me here. What if I just tank the hit? Somehow it worked in my favor. Wait, now there's one over there. Do I not go that way? It seems I have to go up. But how? This doesn't look passable at this point now. Comes down to that enemy over there. Oh, I know what I need to do. I bet I did both of those. Excellent. Oh my god. Why can't you So you telling me you have to jump on the fire so you can get that orb, which allows you to advance the level. Then you have to get the other one. I didn't see any other way up there, did you? Alright, try this again. Yeah, just jump over that brick this time. Oh my god, that was the end of the level too. It doesn't even just tell you what level you're on. It says level 3, but... It doesn't give it a time to scroll over to it. <sighs> I guess we'll stop here, and then the next part will continue on with Magic of Dispel's Manor. And I'll probably get to Murloc's Temple afterwards. See you later.